Hi guys and welcome to another Draft of Glory episode, the final one of the week guys where hopefully we're going to make some coin and uh, hopefully win four games in a row. That would take us to a nice... Um free win streak I think um, and obviously we've got some decent stuff in the packs as well so if we look through the trade pile guys four things have sold as of yesterday um, the contracts actually some more another contract sold I don't know how much contracts sell for. It's like the price have gone up um, and stuff like that. But we've got some decent players in there. Uh, an inform man here selling, which li literally paid for the draft itself yesterday. And um, we also have some other nice stuff in consumables and also badges, kits, and all that good stuff. Tim, Tim Krul uh, still sat on the bench waiting to get sold. So if you guys do want the MSP PSN codes or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be absolutely fabulous. And subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So literally, going to go into the draft, guys. No expectation. I can't, went with the 4-3-3 yesterday. I'm not interested in a 5 at the back because I know I'll get caught out in the middle. So I'm going to go with the 4-3-2-1 again as it is my favourite formation. And every time I get it, I want to use it. We start off with some nice subs, uh, nice choice actually. We get the Ibrahimovic 94. We'll take him. If we can get like a... Um, there is a 95 Messi there. Hmm. No one else links. Let's take that 95 Messi. Let's take it and see. I, I, I don't not don't recall using it, but um, I could be wrong. Now we get Insigne. So literally Higuain could jump into the team at some point and hopefully get on in. Or Gradle. Gradle. He gives a weak link, so it's not really that interesting for me. And we also have another weak link there. But I'm going to take that 88 Insigne, guys. Just so I like my big and better cards. And who knows, we may be able to link up um, between the Serie A and other other leagues we get de bruyne we get nangolan ooh tempted to take that de bruyne because the other like Verratti. well I don't know Verratti. Hmm. Um, is de bruyne and then, then hopefully trying to decide. I'll take that De Bruyne card, guys, and see if we can decide which way we're going now. We've got two BPL, one La Liga, and one... Oh, see, we've got a better version. And we get a Team of the Year next next card. So, Nangolan links with two of the players. I think Nangolan's going to be the choice there, guys. Uh, more likely, Messi's going to leave the uh, fold. And we also um, obviously need a Premier League player. Hopefully, Mkhitaryan. I don't know if Mkhitaryan's got a version like that. Now, we get Dembele. Another Dutch link, which would be sweet, or Hamsik, because he offers uh, the link we need. Well, yeah, he does. He offers the link we need. So I may as well take Hamsik, guys, um, into the uh, centre mid. Swap them two over. It doesn't really make a difference. We'll keep them like that. And now left back. Serie A again. Is it going to be a Serie A player? We've got Radu. Yeah, Radu is the only choice we can take really. So I'll go with Radu. Next centre back, Albiol, um, Kulabale would be nice choices. We get Dante. We don't really get a good choice here. We get a Brazilian, um, Demichelis, Dante. I'll take that mark and ask the other ones. Uh, don't do much for me. Now we need a uh, Ottoman. Oh my God, the bad picks have arrived, guys. The bad picks have arrived and didn't want them at this stage of the draft, unfortunately. It's looking like a mess. Basta. Um, yeah, Basta it's going to be, guys. I have no idea what's going down here, but hopefully we can sort it out. Alves, Farm, and Schmeichel, Patricio. We don't get... We don't get a... Um, we don't get a, a Serie A goalkeeper. Which doesn't usually happen. We get one now, though. We get Marchetti. Um, who could help, actually. Marchetti. Yeah. Reyna will probably help in case we can, can get a Napoli, um, Napoli centre-back in these bunch of players. We get Gambarini. He'll go, he'll go in. Whether he works or not, that's a different matter, isn't it? Um, next one, Zabaleta. Guerrero, who we don't need. We do need that Zabaleta, though, I think. Just in case. Gives a strong link there. Put in Gambarini. Put in Reina. 78. And maybe Basta there. Uh, maybe swap them two round. 
um, as well. Doesn't really make a difference, but we'll go with it like uh, that temporarily. It's sort of sorted out the defense, isn't it? Now, we get Costa. Nice. And we get Dybala. Dybala. Doo -doo -doo. Costa sorts a lot of things, actually. Because Costa can jump on in there, guys. And get links to a lot of players. Which actually means Basta could go back there. Um... Marking us. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think we're getting there, though. It's starting to look a little bit better than it did. We get Diaz. No La Liga. Uh, sorry, there is a La Liga, but there's no... Um, no one worth taking. Striker. We probably do need a new striker. Can it force someone good? A Bamiyang. Jesus. Ooh. Now, I'm tempted to take that Jesus card. But, he's going to offer the same links anyway, because, yeah, I may as well take a Bamiyang as a super sub uh, for that one. Now, we're pushing on down. We get Alexandro, we get Boulder Diaw, we get Cavani. Boulder Diaw um, would make no difference. So, I'm going to take that Alexandro card. He can jump on in here. Actually... He could, in fact, not do anything for me. Thank you very much, Boulder. Mm. Well, we're still going to try and do it, guys. We're at 91 uh, currently. Fingers crossed we can get another good centre-back pick. We get, we get, oh, we get Carlos Vea, Drogba, Sacco, Sacco, French links. Mm. None as of yet. And Gamero. So Gamero would uh, would jump in at striker and also yeah he would he would jump in at striker given the link to Messi taking us to ninety four. It might be worth swapping them to him around ninety seven there. Then at least there's only like three players not in full chemistry up until now. Coleman, Candreva, Marchetti. If I take. If I take Candreva and then hope for maybe a BPL, um, sorry, a, a Serie A striker, then we could be good. We could be good. We'll take that. We'll take that. Does it get more links? No, it doesn't really. doesn't really change, does it? Right, so three picks left, guys, to save this. Otherwise, it's going to be a low chem draft as well by the looks of it. Again, we get Depay. Needed, actually, wasn't it? He? he was needed. If I in some way wanted to work in... Ibrahimovic, Sirigu, Mertens, Nani, uh, Camacho. We'll take. We'll take Mertens as a super sub. And then one more pick. Can't really see which way this is going currently. Kulabale. Now we needed that. And we needed McTarian. Ooh. Very interesting. So taking the pie, but then that centre back was neat. That centre back was a like really need, needed. Um, have we got a right wing? Problem is we haven't got an Italian. McTavian and Depay. I'm torn. I'm torn. I, I wish I could like go back now to change the team around to see which one will work because Koulibaly is the choice which I am seeing. But then the right hand side, there's going to be a low chem player there regardless because we don't have a right winger apart from Kandreva. Um, the defense needs work. I won't lie to you guys. The, the, the defense needs work. And I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna make a fuck up here, guys. But I'm gonna take that Kulabali because I think he's gonna be needed. So I'm gonna take Kulabali. I apologise for that. I may have screwed up, but I need. And I think I need him, and that's why I've gone with him. So we're gonna take Insigne over there. Drops him down to three. Bring it. Take out Messi, or maybe even leave. Um, maybe even leave Messi in the team actually. 
Take out Insigne. Bring in Mertens. Bring in Ibrahimovic. Swap them two round. Um... Six, six, six. So if I swap them two round as well. Nine, six, seven. So two players not on full chem. But could I get them on full chem? That is the question. Um, De Bruyne. Trying to figure, trying to figure this out. Is it a hundred chem now? Two players not on full chem, and that is Messi and Nangolan. But I'm trying to see, see if a way to bring in De Bruyne, but I don't think it'd work. It literally drops chem left, right, and centre. Um, I can't remember if we've got another centre midfielder. I don't think we did, did we? We didn't. So, um, putting in Candreva would would take people to full chem apart. From, well, everyone to full chem apart from one. Um, and I suppose we've got the decent subs as well, guys. So, we'll run with it like this: one player not on full chemistry, but hopefully we can get a Serie A manager um, in the rundown of players anyway. So we'll take out Zabs. Uh, as well, um, looks all right. It looks like an all right team, apart from the defence yet again. But we always seem to how I always seem to fuck up that issue when it comes to that. How did I screw that up? There we go. Sort them two back round. Right, everyone's a full game apart from Candreva. We are golden. Right, manager looking for a Calcio A manager. We have not got one. We have not got one. But have we got anyone to add chemistry to any of the players? So let's see what each one does. One, none, one, one. Oh, my dears. We are screwed. Right, well, we may as well take the Swedish manager guys to give the chemistry to Ibrahimovic. We've got a full chem team anyway to finish off the week. Hopefully it does all right. Let's get into the games, guys, and see how we do. Probably going to have annoyed a lot of you guys, but shit happens. Let's go and try our best. So, guys, into the first round of the draft up against the five at the back team. 78 chemistry with Griezmann in form. Team of the Year Suarez in form, Nangolan in form, Old Reld, and also Lovren, Savage, Montoya, Azpilicueta, and a few other dangerous players. Even him, with the ball here. Starts it off nicely, drives on through, gets an early goal. There we are, 1 0 within 10 minutes of the game. And from that point, guys, uh, my opponent, not long afterwards, did press the start button and quit out. Send us to the second round, the quarterfinals, up against the far forward of the back team. Uh, we've obviously informed Neymar from this week's team of the week. We've got the informed Robin, informed Nangolan. 81 chemistry, but some dangerous players individually, including legend uh, Ryan Giggs. We start off nicely. Um, didn't get the early goal, which we wanted, which obviously boosts the confidence of my opponent. You can see some nice pass and play, fast moving as well. Ebra through to Memphis. Memphis through to Rui Costa and Rui Costa gets the shot off into the bottom corner guys and that does make it 1-0 in the 37th minute um, 71st minute my opponent goes up the field from a corner and uh, whips the ball in. Uh, this has happened to me numerous amount of times this week where the ball just falls nicely. And it's not just in draft, but also in foot champions. The ball just fall, falls nicely everywhere. And an absolute rocket of a shot with Felipe Luis's left foot, guys, makes it 1-1. From my own corner in the 90th minute, we did stupid. We went inside, failed, intercepted by Felipe Luis. You guys know, you'll have been on this point and, and, and this receiving end for a long time. High through ball through to Eden Hazard. He's not missing. He knocks us out in the second round, guys, with a 90th minute counter-attack from my own. So, guys, a second round exit. Uh, after a dubious, I don't know what happened with the first game, score one goal he left. But this game, the guy was really, really tough in, in, in terms of defending. Like, we held a majority of the possession, had a majority of the chances, but... Uh, literally, the final chance, I will have put in the highlights anyway, guys. Like, he scored and then caught me on a massive long through ball there from a corner and caught me out. It's just one of the things. It's for champions uh, in general, if you guys know what happens there. So... 
And because we've gone out in the second round exit, guys, we've definitely lost coins. Um, I don't believe that I can get the, um, the draft token now. No, so we've got three packs there to open at the end of the episode. So we are going to go again, guys, uh, in, in another draft. I don't want a repeat of what happened last time. So we are going to go into another draft, hopefully build a solid team. And uh, see what happens uh, with it. It's the first time this week we've actually done a... Actually, first time in two weeks we've actually done a draft where we had to redo it. And I'm going to go with a 4 one 2, one, two. Yeah, centre mids. We're going to go with this this formation, guys. Centre mids, left, right and centre. So we've thrown Pastor, Higuain and Bale. So, if we take Bale, it actually won't put him into the starting eleven. But we could use him as a super sub. So we're going to take a Bale now, guys. Uh, and then move on to the starting uh, 11 uh, to see what we get. We get Adderese, nice card as well. Uh, let's take that Adderese. Um, would be good if we can pay him up with someone fast, small and fast, like Ben Yedder, Jovetic. Oh, Griezmann. There we are, guys. We get Griezmann. That'll do as an attacking front too. Cam, can we get someone to link with them both? Um, two players. And it'll probably be uh, Kolak, uh, which I'll take. Hopefully we can pull him out of the team anyway, guys. This is depending on what we get in the centre mid uh, spots as well. We get Herrera, we get Thiago. Uh, Atletico Madrid, actually a perfect link there with Benat. Let's go with a perfect link. Because then literally we can maybe start doing something else down here. Let's see if we can get another... We get one. Um, we'll go with him, even though we don't really want him. CDM, Nzonzi would be brilliant. Matuidi, San Jose, Tulalon. Not the best. Definitely not the best, but we have got a perfect link. Now, if we can build a Premier League or Serie A defence, so we can go Serie A. Um, yeah, let, uh, Radu, I always seem to pick. So let's go Maxwell and. Uh, uh, yeah, let, let's go Maxwell and try and go PSG. If we can go PSG. Chiellini, Godin, okay. So we get Godin, um, which we will take, guys. It's a 98 card at the end of the day, so we'll go with him. And uh, centre-back on the right-hand side, Bonucci, Otamendi, Silva. And Mascherano. So we could take Silva, actually. Perfect link. And then Alves in net would be a, would be a dream. So let's, let's go with that, guys. Try and actually bring in um, these players. And in the right-back... Gaspar uh, is going to be our choice, I think. Yeah, let's go Mario Gaspar. I always seem to enjoy him. So Alves is the dream goalkeeper to get, guys. If we can get him, we get Oblak. Um, I suppose we can take Oblak and then one player not on full chem. So we'll take that Oblak card. The hair won't do anything. We'll go with our black. Right. So, the team. We're looking to make some changes. Mainly in the cam centre mid spots. Um, as the team doesn't look that good. We get Rully. We don't actually get Alves. Uh, but I could take Trap. Let's take Trap for the PSG link. And uh, potentially we could get another another person to link. Ooh, Aurier. Aurier. Could we go full PSG across the back line? Potentially we could. Potentially we could. We're going to try it, guys. We're going to try it. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, in the other centre-back position, Vidal, <laughs> another PSG player. It's a shame that Marquinhos never popped, uh, but we will take... Um, probably take Vidal uh, now. Right, now on to the centre-mids. These are the changes we did need. Some centre-midfielders. centre, centre midfielders. We get Tevez. None of these players are going to do anything for me, so I'll take Tevez. Next one. At least one. Oh, Gomez, nice. We'll go with Gomez. He can replace him. Uh, jumping on in there. And now, strikers we're alright with. Unless we get a centre forward. Oh, we get Messi, Team the Year Messi. And Team the Year Ronaldo. Fuck. Um, we'll take Team the Year Ronaldo, guys. He's the highest rated of the lot. We've got Gareth Bale in there as well. It'd be rude not to. Hutchinson. Uh. No one. We'll take Super Sub Hernandez. Final four picks, guys. I think we're full chemistry already, apart from... Uh, oof. These picks. I'll take Tevez. Uh, not Tevez. Name. I'll take Neymar uh, this time round. Three more. Mane. 
decent would be a decent super sub. Is going to be a decent super sub. We're getting a lot of that decent cards, guys, to come on. It's just a centre midfielder. I don't really want to be bringing on a sub, but it, it's looking like we are going to be. Um, I'll take Cerner. Uh, this time round, and the final pick of today, guys, let's see who we get. It's a silver. We got the silver pick at the end. So, um, none of these players are going to be coming through with me, but we'll take it on rating. I think literally, instantly, guys, the cam's going to be... Um, I, don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Got no plans as of yet, but... The team is looking nice. The team is looking nice. A lot of fast players on the bench. Even a decent start up as well with the 90 rated Griezmann and a few other decent cards. It could be a fun run. It could be a fun run. Let's hopefully turn out it is. Guys got Bale, Ronaldo and Neymar as a fun free. So um, goals galore hopefully. Hopefully not a first round exit. Let's get into this draft and hopefully get past the fucking second rounder. Eh? So not that bad of a draft this time. Obviously building to win. That is going to be the aim. So a lot of talking points throughout this week guys. When it comes to the draft game mode itself. Um, obviously I want to finish out on that this week as well. Because we covered it in Thinking Tuesdays and Wednesdays videos. Um, briefly in Thursdays as well. Um, but I want to know what you want to see added into draft. If there's any changes you would make. Do you agree with the changes which I um, did mention. Uh, as... Obviously, draft mode is a, a mode I spend 20 games a week playing, and sometimes even 40, depending on what the team of the week's like. And I am going to be spending 40 this week uh, playing it before the new team, uh, before obviously team of the week's release. So um, I'm curious as to what you guys do think of the draft mode. What mode you would add in? Would you agree with the other packs being added in, like the 45 kers, um, the um, the, li the like set rewards, obviously the the draft tokens, the access to weekend league. It's something which I definitely do want to see uh, added in. This game uh, was absolutely brilliant as well. Um, we made it made it three 0 Sergio Roberto wiped us out as well inside the area, and uh, from that point, guys, we get a penalty with Griezmann. Griezmann doesn't have the arrow, but we look like we're going to the left hand side. We do. We make it four 0 from that point, we do get a rage quit. So, yeah, I, I want um, you... Well, it wasn't a rage quit. Yeah, it was a rage quit at half time actually, yeah. So, I want to know your guys' thoughts on the draft mode, what you want to change in, what you want to add in, why you don't play it as well. I know a lot of you guys don't add, uh, play it, but do enjoy watching this series. And for that, I can't thank you guys enough. So, team, 90 chem. Inform Hazard. Aguero team of the... Man at the seam, and I'm matching it. Uh, in the centre mid. Team the Ronaldo. Pedro, Godin, few other, few other nice players. Um, very, very strange lineup because every time he went forward, guys, his players were like super, super attacking and leaving massive gaps in the area. Fourth minute, guys, were 1 0 up in this match. And remember, this is only the second round. Ronaldo opening up his legs. When he gets so, he's going to do some damage. Nice cut inside. Gets the driven pass to the far post. Bernat with a simple finish there makes it 2 0. <clears throat> we are looking to get the rage quit pretty early on um, so we can obviously finish draft for the week, guys. And, uh, move on into the semis and um, it didn't come San Jose with a ping ball over uh, just before the 30th minute Andre Gomez he gets into the space nice shot 3-0 and uh, we were cruising towards another victory this team obviously was built to win it always is built to win when we, when we would pick up a few losses on the road and uh, uh, this is definitely one I think Monday probably will be another build to win guys just because I want to start off the week nicely and I want to get some of them uh, decent cards as well 4-0 in the 24th minute that should have triggered him to rage quit. It never. And uh, me being stupid allows him to get some opportunities. But allowing him the opportunities opened up more gaps at the back. You can see Griezmann inside. Sells him with the nice fake shot. Passes back. Through to Bale. Bale to Ronaldo. Bale. <laughs> Ronaldo back to Bale. And that. I thought that would have triggered him. It never. 53rd minute guys. And uh, we make it 5-0. In the 90th minute though my opponent finally does get a decent opportunity. And you can see Mata with a ball inside through. And uh, bad defending from me allows Ronaldo to get the goal in, guys. 5-1, but regardless of that, we're into the semi-finals anyway. So, now this is where it starts getting tough, usually. Semi-final opponent, and we're coming up against, yes, Inform Costa, Barkley. Uh, the team in the group stage, Mares, Inform Walker, Inform Alba in the CDM position as well, Inform Luis. Team in the group stage, Neymar, and uh, obviously De Gea, Mertesaka, strangely as well, Hendo, and uh, a few of our dangerous players. Mertesaka with the ball here, pings it out to the wing, to the Henderson, Henderson through to Mares. Mares dribbles down the wing, sees a gap inside there to Felipe Luis. Nice ball across. 
cross. 1-0 down in the 11th minute. You guys can see the start button was pressed by myself to start getting them subs rolling. And do we need to do that pretty quickly? Because just afterwards, guys, Bale with the ball here gets the access into my opponent's area. We make it 1-1. One, one, one in the 25th minute and then needed that goal 35th minute another bad error from my opponent allows the ball in here Griezmann through to Bale Bale smashes it in makes it 2-1 and uh, it was a weird position because we had it yesterday um, as well where we went 2-1 up in the final and my opponent rage quit it happened again in the semi-final of the draft so it's still questions as to whether draft is seeded our final opponent guys in form Ronaldo Eden Hazard Quadrado in form Fabregas the team of of the year, Suarez, team of the year, Alves, inform Roberto, the inform Ramos, Tremolinas, and also Neymar, and uh, Asensio in net. So a dangerous team to finish off the week, guys. And uh, obviously, we're going to be finishing uh, our draft here anyway because it is the final. Um, Maxwell with the ball pings it through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets tackled, but the ball through to Bale. Bale to Ronaldo, Ronaldo to Bale. Bale to Griezmann, and Griezmann pings it, making it 1-0 in the 19th minute. Not as early as I did want the goal, but we did finally get it, and uh, I will not say no to a goal like that, guys. Roberto with the ball clears it through to Eden Hazard. Hazard to Suarez, Suarez to Cudrado, and look at how easy he opened up my defence there. I wasn't getting past him. Brilliant finish. 1-1 in the 27th minute game guys and the game was back on so now we're pushing towards uh, getting this draft over we don't want to finish on a loss we never do want to finish off on a loss and it took us until the um, uh, second half guys to get a goal and it was actually with a super sub uh, of um, as it, was it with a super sub I can't remember I know we made some subs at this point but Griezmann with the ball here through to Ronaldo Ronaldo gets the space looks for the tramp gets the pass over and you can see guys we make it 3-1 in the 52nd quick fire goals it wasn't it was Andre Gomez wasn't it I think he scored two so a nice finish there and then the fourth and final goal guys comes from the 61st minute as you can see Griezmann through to Gomez and Gomez I think seals off his hat trick but it's a draft win nonetheless let's go and open up the packs and there we are guys Andre Gomez coming up with a hat trick in the final exactly what we needed to pick up a 4-1 win against Nunca 99 but the main question is guys we don't really care about the wins do we, we care about the packs and that's what hopefully is going to get treated um treated good now hopefully anyway we have lost probably lost a lot of money this week anyway um and we get a gold pack and a rare player pack we seem to get that pack all the time but as you remember guys we're not in the second round of the draft early on so we might get lucky in some of the crappier packs um which we did get earlier on um is that senegal Ooh, a senegal player he may be worth an inflated amount not really. Maybe he was on day one, but we'll still get rid anyway because he's probably worth the maximum that he is going to be now. We'll hold on to the player. We'll sell them. Rest not really so much bothered about and the same with Minna. We'll get rid of Minna. Discard the remainder of that. Now we have another gold pack. And there's a silver pack in here as well. No rares in that one. Going to be a given anyway, wasn't it? It was going to be a given. We get Kimmich and we get uh, Kessie. Kessie, is he worth coin? Why is he like that price? Hmm. I might sell him. I might, I might sell him. He might go for like top end 700. We'll keep Kimmich as well. Uh, actually, a Hunter Chem style, guys. Which, if you guys didn't know, are usually extinct. And they probably will sell for 5,000 coins. So that's nice of uh, EA to give us 5,000 coins. Basically a 5,000 coin redeem there um, with that Hunter Chem style. And that was from a bad pack as well. We got the player healing, which we'll get rid of. And uh, we'll sell Sen as well. So we'll discard the remainder of that pack. Pretty sick that we got that. Actually, has that sold already? Probably not. So we'll open the silver player pack now. Um, I don't think there's any special silvers in packs, to my knowledge, apart from Team of the Week. We do get Kano. That is that Turkish league, that guy? Let's see. No, it's Saudi league. Is he worth money now? Oh, yes, he is. My God, 5.7. We'll list him for 5.5. If he sells for 5.5, guys, we are in the money. And we'll list him for 4.5. So, hopefully, Cano sells. Rest of it, Greek league, Polish, Belgium, English free. We'll hold on to all these players. They potentially could go uh, later on. Now we've got the premium gold pack. Which is going to give us no rares again. Sick. Don't you love gold packs? Don't you love gold packs? We've got Suarez, which probably is going to be worth selling now. 1.2, 750, 700. 
750, 750, so listing for 600 and uh, hopefully someone wants him to complete the uh, Jonas SBC, so we'll offload him. Same for the squad fitness, that's about a K to uh, 1200 and the CM to CDM and um, two players there, which we'll uh, get rid at the end. So, discard that, guys. I think the Hunter Chem style has gone by the looks of it, but it's all down to this 50,000 coin pack. Let's see if we are lucky enough to get another in form like we got yesterday. We are not, we've not even got a good player in that pack. Henderson, I suppose he's an all right player, but nothing superstar value, you know, guys. Um, so unfortunately. We are just going to be holding on to these cards. There's a few nice ones in there, though. And is that another Senegal player? It is. Is he worth money? 2,000. He's probably worth the most he's ever going to be now, guys. So we'll get rid. Hold on to uh, the ones which we haven't got already. And then we've got three players which we need to sell off. And fingers crossed we can make some money back, guys. So at the start of Monday's episode, you will see... Actually, I'm going to clear it now. Because we have got 18 stuff sold. So if SBCs do arrive, then I've got the space to go and sell them. So you can see, guys, Hunter Chem Style, 5k, 250, 1, 2, 1, 3. Nice. Some big money made on uh, on a lot of these. A lot of these. The 11, 250 made more than we would be discarding him. And uh, 8k, obviously, for uh, for Mane. So we've got Diop. We've got a few players on the bench. Um, on uh, still being for sale, sorry, and uh, hopefully some big money in which guy was it? It was that guy, wasn't it? Five point five. Hopefully someone picks him up. Someone might. Someone. Someone might not. And let's get rid of these players as well, guys. Damn, there's a lot of stuff on this trade pile. But we're gonna call the video there. If you guys have enjoyed it, leave a like, rating, guys. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And we'll be back on Monday. And probably, depending on what happens with Foot Birthday, you probably will see me doing another draft of glory with this week's team of the week. So bear with it. Um, it should be some good promotions, maybe some international position changes. By the time the video has gone live anyway, guys, you'll know exactly what has happened and what EA have done. But I don't know as of yet because it's currently still Thursday um, as I'm recording. So we'll have to uh, wait and see. So guys, leave a like, wait and subscribe or not. And uh, oh, some it's sold, some it's sold, some it's sold. Let's go and see what's sold just so I can clear it off the list. And then we leave room for SBCs and the arm healing as well. So we've still got Tim Krull there. What's sold? Is it that guy? Oh, it's a player contract stick. Hoping it was going to be that silver guy, but hopefully he's gone by the end of the week.